Good evening, folks. Episode 14 of Everyday KT. So today we're going to have a fun little discussion about uh, some stuff that happened based on yesterday's video. Talking about trolls and the kilt police. So, as a kilt wearer, it's going to happen. Somebody's going to try to get under your skin. They're going to tell you you're doing it wrong. They're going to tell you that you look silly. They're going to tell you all kinds of really nasty stuff because there's a very significant number of people on this planet who think that a guy wearing a kilt is wrong. And I call BS in every way, shape, and form. It's it's a kilt. It's a man's garment. It is, you know, granted, lots of women out there wear them. Fine, no problem. But it is a male garment, historically. So... There's nothing non-masculine about it. Somebody calling out your masculinity because of your choice of clothing makes me kind of believe that they're having issues of their own. They're, they're un, un, they, don't lack, they lack confidence, they lack motivation, they lack something. Something in their life just isn't sitting right. So they do what most people do. They'll pick on the guy who's different than everybody else. Picking on the guy in the kill. So... In my 12 years, it's happened constantly, even, you know, within the past couple of months. You know, you hear a weird comment or something as you're walking around at Walmart. Um, that's part of wearing a kilt in, in, in our world, unfortunately. They haven't really accepted the fact that a man can wear what is technically a skirt and, and not get called out on it. Uh, there was one time, I was actually at the gun range, and a friend of mine I was with, he was walking behind me, maybe 15, 20 feet or so, and uh, passed these three guys that were sitting on uh, sitting on the back of their truck. And I heard a little something behind my behind me, and I didn't pay any attention. I'd gotten to the point in my life of wearing a kilt where it didn't matter anymore. I just don't care. People are going to have their opinions. Everybody's got one, and they all stink. So that's not my problem. So got in the car, and my buddy and I were sitting there, and he's like, what did you say? I, I didn't say anything. Well, those three guys, one of them was, uh, what, you know, they were saying something like, hey, look at that guy in a skirt. One of the other guys says, hey, shut up. That guy throws trees for fun. He will kick your ass. I, I had a good laugh at that. So that's actually, you know, one of the responses when I, that I kind of give people when uh, people are, oh, well, here we go. Yeah, Angela, you're right. It's, it, it, it's all right to do it. Um, but anyway, back to the story. Um, if somebody's giving you crap, you know, the one the, the one thing that I've always said is, hey, you know what, if, if this is going to lead to something physical, that's fine. You know, but win or lose doesn't matter. How are you going to explain the black guy from a guy in a skirt? Never got in a fight over my kilts. Not once. So... The thing that we're talking about tonight is trolls and the kilt police. So, face to face, you very rarely get any kind of problems from anybody. Most people stay to themselves and don't mess with anything. The internet, whole different animal. There are people all over this world who are more than happy to dole out their version of reality from the safety of their couch, behind their keyboard and laptop, where there's no chance of anybody doing anything to them about it. Uh, that happened yesterday after my, my video on what you wear under your kilt. Lots of people got upset with that. They were either talking about how it's not manly to wear underwear, you're not a man, you're this, you're that, all kinds of crap. Trolls, every one of them. You know, it's your kilt. If, if we were meant to follow the rules, then 90% of the kilt wearers out there wouldn't be wearing a kilt. We had to follow the rules of traditional kilt wearing. Utility kilts would not exist. A good number of our most famous kilt makers on the planet, Howie over in um, in the UK, would not be making his kilts. You know, leather kilts wouldn't exist. You know, all different styles of kilts that that we enjoy wouldn't exist because they're not the rule. They don't follow the rules of, of traditional kilt wearing. And you know, last I checked. Scots have never been one to really follow the rules. Uh, my history is not 100%, but if I'm not mistaken, Moonshine came from 
the Scots Irish after they left uh, left Scotland and Ireland uh, during the uh, Highland Clearances, and they brought it over here to the Appalachians, and boom, moonshine. Not really following the rules, last I checked. So if you're going to be out, if you're one of those folks out there who is intent on busting people's chops about what they're wearing, how they're wearing their kilt, um, get a hobby, do something. Uh, I understand that there are times and places where a strict traditional kilt is appropriate. Um, you know, looking at very formal events, looking at things like um, weddings, funerals, you know, political ceremonies, you know, really big life events. Yeah, you want to you wanna wear the kilt as best you can. But a vast majority of kilt wearers, I mean, we were wearing the kilt to work. Just put it on. You know, pleats in the back, obviously. And take out the basting stitches if you have them. Other than that, you know, swing for the fences. So, the kilt police, the trolls out there, there's a lot of people who are just starting to get into wearing kilts or looking at kilts. And nothing that you're saying is helping them. Nothing. They're, they're getting discouraged. They're, they're, get, they're, you know, they're afraid of it in the first place because they don't know what their mom's going to say or their, their dad, their friends, their family, whatever. Like, oh, no, he's wearing a kilt, he's wearing a skirt, he's whatever. You know, they're going to have a hard enough time as it is. Give them a break. You know, let them figure out how to deal with putting on a kilt for the first time on their own. You don't need to, you know, fan the flames because they're going to have enough crap to deal with as it is. So that's my take on trolls and, and the kill police. You know, they're they're out there, you know, they've got their protection behind their keyboards and wherever they might be. Um, and they're just fanning the flames looking for somebody to, to chew on just because they can, just because, you know, the internet that that happens. And and on contrary to popular belief, Chuck Norris is not everywhere. So that's it. Uh, so tonight I was uh, flipping through my Kiltology. And uh, picked one up, and it popped open to, in, in Volume 2, Kiltology number 323, called Motivation. And I found it very appropriate to this exact discussion. When seeking motivational advice from a kilty, be sure you have no valuables or hard objects in your back pockets. Cell phones and other such devices don't react well to boots at high velocity. Best kind of motivation there is, swift kick in the ass. So, uh, if you got questions, go ahead and message me, whatever, however you want to do it on Facebook, uh, Twitter, wherever. Uh, I'll have videos, there's 13 other ones out there. And uh, see you guys tomorrow. As always, be strong, put a kilt on.